My topic is LGBTQ. I chose this subject because it is something that more and more people are being introduced to and everyone is taught differently. I believe that everyone has a right to their opinion, but when it comes to something like LGBTQ rights, everyone should be told that anyone can love anyone, regardless of gender, color, race, creed, or sexual orientation. 1950. Roberta Cowell was the first British trans woman to undergo surgery and change her birth certificate. 1960. First lesbian organization created was the Minorities Research Group. 1980. Sexual relationships were between men and women over the age of 21 were allowed. 1990. Gay, lesbian, and trans can be in the army. Leonor Malkovich was a Vietnam veteran and a Purple Heart and Bronze Star recipient. In 1975, he became the first service member to add himself to the military and fight their ban on gays. Bayard Rustin. Although he was a better known as an influential advisor to Martin Luther King and for helping to initiate the 1947 Freedom Ride, Rustin was also a gay rights activist. It is important because it's something that is just rewriting itself as history every day and making people who went against it be ashamed of themselves. As these LGBT activists are succeeding and more and more people are becoming aware. Why is it that as a culture we are more comfortable seeing two men holding guns than holding hands? Ernest Gaines. This means instead of fighting, we should love everyone regardless of their gender, race, color, creed, or sexual orientation. Many members of the LGBTQIA community have fought for legal rights, making history along the way, and their legacies are especially remembered during Pride Month. The month of June was selected to honor the June 28, 1969. The riots were started when police raided a popular, a popular gay bar at Stonewall Inn. Protests and demonstrations flooded the streets for three days, marking the first major demonstration in the modern gay civil rights movement. I think that any person can love any person regardless of the race, color, creed, or sexual orientation. And if they do, they have the right to, same as any man would love any woman. The fact that people have an uprising to be against LGBTQ or are led to think it's cool to be is sad because they know that it's not wrong and said it is right. A lot of people kill themselves because they are LGBTQ. And if they were in a safe environment where they were accepted, instead of hearing their friends have a derogatory attitude towards gay and insult them, they would not g get led to being scared and come out and kill themselves out of depression and insecurity. All of us who are openly gay are living and writing the history of our movement. We are no more and no less heroic than the suffragists and ab abolitionists of the 19th century and the labor organizers the freedom risers, stonewall demonstrators, and environmentalists of this 20th century. We are ordinary people living our lives and trying as civil trying as civil rights activists, Dorothy Cotton said, to fix what ain't right in our society. Senator Tammy Baldwin. People who are gay, lesbian, or trans, or queer, or bi are just people. They are just normal people who are trying to think, fight for something that is right because they all feel it is something that should be protested for and fought for because it is as right as a man loving a woman and getting married and no matter what race, color, creed, or sexual orientation, any human can love any human. My parents taught me never to judge others based on whom they love, what color their skin is, or their religion. Why make life miserable for someone when you could use be, be using energy for good? We don't need to share the same opinions as others, but we need to be respectful. When you hear people making hateful comments, stand up to them, point out what a waste it is to hate, and you can open their eyes.